I feel proud, actually. I feel proudest. The doctor who sparked global outrage by claiming to produce the world's first genetically modified babies faced his peers for the first time at this conference in Hong Kong. As you can see, there's a big demand to know exactly what you did. How you understand your responsibility to these children. Ho was grilled by bioethicists, regulatory experts and fellow doctors, but he remained sketchy on the details of his experiment. I don't know how to answer this question. There has been a failure of self-regulation by the scientific community. Shenzhen-based He Jinkui used a gene editing technology called CRISPR to engineer twin girls whose DNA was designed to resist the HIV infection. The world has moved on to the stage for embryo gene editing. There will be someone somewhere who is doing this. If it's not me, it's someone else. The news of the birth startled the scientific community. The general feeling amongst the scientific community is that we shouldn't go ahead yet. But you, you went ahead without really discussing with people. That's how it seems. I also consulted with uh, several experts. As someone who's been involved in the genesis of the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology, I, I feel deeply disturbed. It's inappropriate and something that we had been working hard to avoid. Why you choose to cross this line? What is our responsibility as scientists and doctors? May we know your future medical care plan for these babies? How did you convince the, the parents? Scientists here are worried about the safety of the CRISPR technology and many cast doubt on whether Heard really did what he claims. His experiment would be banned in many places such as the US. For his part, Her says he supports using gene editing for diseases and not for improving humans. He also claims that there is a second woman carrying a genetically modified baby in China. Are there any current pregnancies with embryos that have been genome edited as part of your clinical trials? There's another potential Pregnancy. 